it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we're going to be creating this ponytail with the flipped ends look I'm obsessed I think this is so freaking cute and I've been wanting to do it for a while and I finally gained the courage to and I'm honestly super happy super proud of myself so if you guys want to see how I got this look using just bundles then please keep watching Okay, so my hair is already in two buns, but they're obviously messed up. So I'm going to take them out, but one by one and work my way to each side. And I'm basically going to kind of slick them down a bit and redo them so that we look, you know, kind of cute. Don't mind my bed behind me. I have all the hair on it, okay? So I have an excuse today as to why I, my background could look a mess. Okay, so... I'm gonna wet the hair first. I'm gonna take like my flat brush and kind of brush everything where I want it to be. I'm gonna just redo my edges. So. They were a mess anyways. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna take my Eco Styler Gel. This is the olive oil one. And take it on top of the nails. I don't need too much. And gonna work that in to the ponytail. a little rubber band and I'm gonna make it into a tiny bun so that I can attach the bundles onto it nicely and boom one side so now let's do the other So I washed my bundles, I they dried overnight, but they're not completely dry, so I'm just gonna work with them how they are. So what I'm gonna do is, see I have one here. I kind of went through it with a straightener so it's not so wavy, but I'm going to double it, so I'm gonna make the ends meet. Take my brush and brush it out like that so that the hair is going in the same direction. So normally what I would do um, is I would take a piece from the front, separate it, add it on, kind of just wrap that piece around my ponytail to get it secured. And then I think I want to bobby pin the end down. like that so it's a little more secure i'm gonna find the tracks and then i'm gonna go in the direction of the ponytail and just wrap it around so i think i'm gonna go this way so i'm just gonna wrap it And then I'm going to take one piece like this and just wrap it around to secure it. I 
think I'm going to bobby pin that piece down too to make sure that it doesn't unravel. Bobby pins and gel are like your best friends when it comes to this look. I'm kind of hiding it underneath the ponytail so that it doesn't poke out. But Knowing me, it might. Okay, so this is the ponytail. I might make it thicker. Yeah, I think I'm going to add just like one more bundle because I feel like it looks thin and you could see like the bulge from my bun and you don't really want that so I'm gonna add one more bundle to this side I think if I have enough yeah I do I just want both sides to be equally thick. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. Yeah, but I'm gonna add like a thinner bundle to this side because this one is a little thicker. Take the last piece and wrap that around. Also, while you're going, if you see any bulky parts, like at the top, you know, you want to kind of brush it down with your fingers. And I'm going to bobby pin it. In. So. That. So this is what the ponytail looks like so far. So we got her thicker. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to speed through it though. But if there's anything that I do differently or that I find is easier, I will obviously talk to you guys. So let's just get right into it. I'm kind of excited with how this is looking. So let's get into it.
Okay, so I have one side done. I wanted it to be really subtle. I didn't want it to be too crazy. But I think it's cute. Oh my god, okay. So basically what I do is I go, I section off, I brush, I straighten the full strand, then I go back and I start to flip towards like the middle end. And I kind of get it like that. That one was a little crimped, but that's the gist of how I do it. And then at the end, what I did was I um, kind of put all the hair together and then crimped it together or, you know, so that they're all like on the same wave. Cause I wanted like a subtle curl at the end, like the flip and I'm really enjoying it. But what you definitely want to do is brush the hair prior um, so that, you know, it's not looking frizzy on top. I made that mistake on the other side, but I won't do that here. Hey guys, so I'm finished with my makeup and this is the final hair. We have a slight flip on the bottom and we did this just using bundles. I'm so happy because I needed a hairstyle to do and this was fairly easy. It didn't take me too long as you guys will see in the video, but I think I'm going to set everything with my got to be. I can't find it, so never mind, but I would most likely, especially if I'm going out with this, set everything including like, you know, of course the real um buns that we created to wrap the hair i would set it so that it doesn't move and also try and set the hair just a tad so that the flips stay but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye Please do.